Here is the latest on our system. Not much to it. It is still Invest 92, not much more organized than what it was a couple days ago. It's just sitting down here, a broad area of showers and storms, and it's not going to come together fast. This thing is not going to rapidly blow up into something huge. It's going to be a very slow process over the coming days. So expected to stay down here through tomorrow and through uh, early Thursday. Now by the time we get to Thursday, it will get some movement to it. And then as we head into Thursday, Friday, it'll likely be getting into the central and northern Gulf, and that's when it will likely become a depression. So it's probably not going to do anything uh, through at least tomorrow. But by Thursday, Friday, we'll have a better chance of getting at least a depression out of this. And then the track of it. Well, that's still so unclear because it has it has not developed that closed circulation and a well-defined circulation. It's still so broad. So there's a bunch of different scenarios that could still play out here, and that's why the forecast is still somewhat so vague, and we're saying things like perhaps and maybe because this is not a slam dunk forecast at this point. Now, the reason it's going to get pulled to the north, regardless of what this thing does, it has to do with the upper level pattern. This ridge has been suppressing it. That's going to weaken and move out west. We'll get a more of a southwesterly flow. This ridge builds in. It'll pull this thing up to the north, whatever it may be, and notice our area of concern right there in the northern Gulf by Friday and going into parts of the weekend, and it's probably not going to be moving terribly fast, but it will have some movement to it uh, as we head into the weekend. Then the other question becomes, well, how much is this thing going to organize in June? Typically in June, our systems are not very organized They're usually uh, lopsided wet sloppy messes. I mean, that typically is to do with the dry air in the northern Gulf and shear, and it looks like that's going to be the case here, uh, and this is kind of just playing out the dry air and moisture and the shear. So anywhere you see these greens, that is all the moisture. Anywhere you see the browns, that's dry air. Storms don't like dry air. It chokes them off. So what will happen is this gets into the northern Gulf. It looks like some of that westerly dry air will try to get wrapped up in this. That will likely keep this thing lopsided, meaning most of the heavy rain will be east, and it could be far to the east of the center, maybe by 100 to 200 miles. So even if the center moves up in this direction, the rain may be you know, over in the Florida Panhandle. That's just one of those things we're going to have to watch. And another thing, this is likely going to be a pretty big system, meaning one, it's not going to wrap up very quickly and organize very quickly. But it's also going to have a, a big stretch of wind coming off the Gulf. So uh, surge could definitely be an issue for some. Where exactly that happens depends on the track. And once again, it's too early to get into those details. But regardless, it does look like someone's going to get some heavy rain this weekend. The exact totals for your house, your town, I'm not going to give that to you yet because this could change around so much. But it does look like all signs point to someone along the Gulf Coast is going to get a lot of rain this weekend, maybe 7 to 10 to up to a foot of rain is how it's looking at this point. Just something we got to monitor. So use the next three days to do anything. Clean the drains, prepare for this, because uh, if we do see impacts, it could start as early as Friday and of course go into parts of the weekend. So just stay tuned for now.